what's up guys I'm here with a new topic review so this is the upgrade Claire plus I can't remember it's a really long name but I just call it the Claire halo topper from Uniwigs and I will link it below and I have a discount code for you because Uniwigs actually sent this one to me to review and I'm going to be totally honest I'm gonna go through all the pros and cons and I'm gonna admit that it was a little bit of a process for me to get to the point where I really liked this, but I really, really like it now for lots of reasons. And I'm going to show you why, but I didn't love it at first. In fact, I haven't loved any of my toppers at first. <laughs> and I guess if there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it is hair is expensive. And I get people who message me who will say, I bought, I spent all this money on a topper, but it just doesn't work for me. And I really don't like it. So I never wear it. And inside I die a little because that's so much money to waste on hair because it's non-returnable. Once you put it on your head, once it's out of a package, you can't return it. So you really, I really truly believe that it's worth the effort and the extra money to make sure you get it customized by a hairstylist. Now I realize that there are some stylists that will not work on hair pieces, mostly because they're afraid because it doesn't grow back. <laughs> so it would be... You know, if they made a big mistake and fried your hair trying to custom color it, like, you know, they would, that would be a bad position to be in, but you're just going to have to find somebody. I went to my hair girl. She didn't want to do it the first time on my first topper. She was like, I don't dare touch it. I had to really assure her it was just money. And if she ruined it, I wasn't going to hold her liable. Um, after she worked on my first piece, then she was okay with the rest. So just try to find someone that's willing to do it and work with them. I've had to sometimes take toppers back to her two or three times because I've been like, okay, I thought this is what I wanted, but it's just still not working. Can we try something different? I've changed color. I've cut, I've changed the cut. I've changed my bio hair color. I've like, I've just worked with pieces until they work for me. And I promise you it is so worth it in the end. So that's the big takeaway from this video. <laughs> Other than all the stuff I'm going to tell you about this um, topper is just know that, that pulling them right out of the box is just probably not going to work. You have to think there are so many different head shapes and, and face shapes and skin tones and you know, your hair loss is different. Your hairline is different. Everybody's so different. So we, I think it's weird when I watch these YouTube videos where these people pull out a hair piece out of the box and put it on their head and they're like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's perfect. I'm like, how is that? That's not true. I don't believe that. Like that's very rare, okay? Maybe, maybe occasionally that can work, but in my experience, that is very rare. And maybe it's because I'm really picky, but I really want my hair toppers to look awesome. And I wanna feel awesome when I'm wearing them. And I don't want them to be detectable. I don't want people to look at me and be like, mm, that is not her hair, you know? So let's get into this finally. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> all right, I will leave all the specs below of what this piece is, but um, I'm just going to tell you, and I don't even have it on. It's just sitting on my head right now because I wanted to show you what it looks like on, but, um, it is, I'm going to go into the stuff I don't love about it. Okay. Let's, let's get that over with first. So when I first got this piece, it is a mono topper, monofilament. So it's just like a mesh. Let me see if you can see. I never can tell what you can see in this. Okay. That's what the base looks like. I have my finger behind it so you can see with a flesh tone. So, um, with, which actually, I'm sorry, this is, this is monofilament and then the very front piece is lace. So they look very similar though. Um, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to beat around the bush. I do not like monofilament toppers, bases. I just don't feel like they look very realistic. However, um, most of the time you really can't tell when it's on your head. Like nobody's ever looked at mine and been like, oh, that doesn't look real. But I really am in the market for a silk topper. So um, Uniwix actually has one of those too. And maybe I'll link that below too, just so that you can check it out. Um, but either way, it does the job and it's a lot more affordable. So I will say that about this piece. It is super affordable compared to like I've bought some others and I have paid, you know, upwards of a thousand dollars for a hair piece. And this one is like less than half that. So this is very affordable and it is Remy human hair. Like I don't own any synthetic toppers. Um, I just, 
I would much rather just have human hair toppers. <laughs> I like that I can style them and color them and cut them and do whatever I want with them. So, so this is Remy human hair. Um, the hair quality is actually really great. Like I really like this hair. I don't feel like it's really frizzy like some of the other pieces I've had in the past. Um, I feel like it's good quality. And um, and I've washed it once because I had it colored. Um, I had my stylist put in a darker root and then tried to highlight it, which is funny. It didn't really highlight that much. And I know that, disclaimer, most hair companies will tell you do not lighten hair that you buy. Um, obviously lightening hair is much more damaging than darkening, but, um, I just kind of do it at my own risk, <laughs> uh, because I really, like I said, I like to customize my pieces. So, um, they sent me this color and it's a great color, but I like to have a lot of depth in my hair colors. So I, we added some highlights. Like I said, it didn't really lighten. I mean, it did, but barely. And that's okay. Actually, I really like the darker color and I'm, I'm digging it. It's different than my other topper. It's fun to have options. So, um, the biggest con to me is just the base, but you know, it is what it is. It's by, it's six and a half by six and a half. So it's a decent size base. It's a pretty common size. Uh, and it's got these four clips. So it's got two on the side, two in the back. The best part of this, the best part of this is that there's no clip in the front and I'm going to show you how this works, but you can see I've got some traction alopecia from um, another topper that I have that put a lot of weight on my hair and it's um, pulled it out basically. And it's starting to grow back mostly because I've been, I haven't been using that clip in my other topper. I've had to find other ways to do it. And now I've been wearing this one and it has no damage up here. So that's really awesome. Um, and this string has a halo string and I'll kind of show you how that works, but it, ho it helps hold it flat um, without a clip. So some people don't use it and you could just clip it off if you wanted to just cut it and it's no big deal, but I actually really like it. And I, I'll show you too, that it makes it really handy to when you're gluing, if you, if you glue it on. So anyway, we'll get into that. But, um, anyway, the clips, the only thing I don't like about these clips right here is that on my head, and this might not be the same for everyone, but they clip right here. I mean, like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy how they just fit like right here. And that is the, I'm super thin right through there. And so it's very tender. So I don't like to use those clips. Um, if you, you know, if you have more hair right there, I'm sure that wouldn't bother you, but it does me. So I like to use the string and, and I glue, I glue the lace front on, but like I said, I don't love the lace front. I don't know if it's cause I'm a newbie, but I could not make it look good. And I'm used to having toppers that I, I clip this far back into my hair. So my bio hair is always in the front and this, I would have to, you know, slick it all back and glue it down. And I just didn't feel like it was very realistic. Like I said, maybe it's cause I'm a newbie. I tried cutting in baby hairs. I tried, um, you know, I've seen people like pluck the parts and stuff. I didn't do that, but um, I just, I don't know. I tried using concealer. They told me um, to use some concealer. I used flesh colored concealer. Then I tried to use like the dark hair concealer that I use that's a powder. I couldn't get it to look good. So I took it back to my stylist and I asked her to cut in some bangs and now I love it. So I actually wanted a piece with bangs. So this worked out really well, but uh, now I love it and I get compliments on it all the time. I will say also, it's a lot, it's got a lot more hair in the, in the front as opposed to the back and the, the base, you can see it's wefted here on the bottom, which is funny. I, I've, I've since seen lots of toppers are like this, but I've never had one. So, um, you can see the wefts right here. Oh God, let's get a good shot here. Right here. So it's sewn in and, um, it actually doesn't bother me. It lays fine. It lays flat. So I'm not bothered by that, um, but there's just a little bit less hair, I feel like, in the back. Now, it still has enough to cover my hair. I'm just, I think, used to more hair, um, but I don't, but I still, like I said, it covers just fine. I feel like it's very light and comfortable, so I'm totally okay with that. But just a heads up, it feels a little bit thinner towards the back than it does the front. Um, another great thing about this one is I can do updos with it, like, I am stoked because that's one thing I've never been able to do my whole life is wear my hair 
up and have it look good. So <laughs> that's awesome. I've put my hair in a ponytail. This is my favorite piece to put my hair in a ponytail with. So, and it doesn't damage, it doesn't pull on these tender hairs. So that's awesome. And I think that's kind of like the gist of what I really love about it, what um, I didn't love about it, but I've been able to make it work for me. And like I said, it took a couple of trips to the salon, but really she was, she's so good to work with me. She's very patient, <laughs> but she knows how passionate I am about, you know, making these work, no matter how much I spend or don't spend on them. I want them to work for me because I want to be able to wear them and love them and feel good in them. So I think I'm going to do a whole other, um, video about how to glue the lace front because let me just say that was a process to learn like I watched a bazillion videos and it took me a while to figure out how to make it work for me but I am going to show you how to do the string and how to put it on so I'm just going to pin my hair up for a second and um I'm going to take the string so you hold the topper like this is how it goes on my head so I'm going to hold it up to me like this facing away, the base is facing away. And I'm just gonna put this on my forehead and then pull the string down to the bottom of, to the base of my head like that. And the string is adjustable. So when I first got it, I had to just kind of play with it and I put it on and then I pulled, this is the piece hanging out. I pulled on this until I felt like it was the right tightness so that it would hold it on my head. And then I just tied a few knots so that it won't slip. So it's like that. And um, I'm just gonna comb the hair over the string. Like that. I love that the, <laughs> this is very helpful the way this string is for when you're gluing on the lace front, but like I said, I'll show that in a different video. But now I just push it back and I kind of put my part, I have a little bit off to the side part, but you can you can part it anywhere you want because the top um, of the base is that monofilament and it's the whole, it's like the whole crown of your head. So you really can part it however you want. But I kind of know when it's on correctly because I can feel, I can feel that the clips are right here and they're evenly spaced. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip the back ones. Like I said, I don't use the front ones. Um, and with the string on, you actually could get away. Like, look how flat it is to my head. Can you see how flat it is? So you could actually get away with just the string and the back two clips if you wanted. I really feel like for everyday use, I could probably get away with that and feel okay. But I don't wanna put any undue pressure on the back clips or else I'm gonna start getting traction alopecia back there and it's gonna start pulling on the on that hair. So I do like to glue it down in the front. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you guys, it's so pretty. Like I'm in love with it. And it, I really am surprised because I was afraid I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> when I first pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh, I was a little like, rrr, rrr, you know, but um, the more I play with it, the more I wear it, the more I love it. And the more compliments I get on it. So um, the bang is fun because I can either, like, I can totally brush the bang to the side like this. And because the hair is already kind of going forward and down, it's covering that lace front so you can't see it. Or, of course, I could pull the bangs forward. Except the way I'm doing this is pulling longer hair forward. But um, there, it's not a ton of bang. Like I said, I just had her cut in a little bit but I love it. So I'm gonna give you kind of a 360 view of this and I haven't seen the bag, so I, I hope it looks good. But my hair is, let me mention, my hair's a little longer than the topper in the back, so, and also my hair is lighter. So it kind of looks a little bit like an ombre in the back. Um, I hope you can see that okay. Let me flip this way. But I don't know, I think it, I think it blends really well. And like I said, it's super comfortable. So that's my review. That's my review. I, I really love this topper. In fact, I'm really considering getting this silk one. 
I think it's called the Megan. And it's basically just like this, only a silk base. I think I might like that one a little bit better. But this is especially, especially good for somebody who either doesn't have very much hair in the front of their hairline, um, because like I said, you don't need any hair in the front to blend it, which that can be a problem for a lot of people with the toppers that sit back on their hair because they don't have enough in the front to blend it well. So this is a really good option for that. Also, um, if you have a little bit of hair, but you're getting that traction alopecia from clipping in another topper and it's pulling on that, like this is an awesome solution. I'm so glad that they've invented this. I love it. So let me know what you guys think below. It's also longer than my other topper, which is fun. This is the 14 inch and I don't, I don't think she took much off if I remember right when we, when we cut it. She did, um, kind of do some face framing layers. She thinned it out just a little bit here in the front. Like I said, it's a lot heavier here. Um, and then gave me the bangs and then just, like I said, gave me some face framing layers to kind of blend those bangs out. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hopefully going to be trying out more toppers. There's a few on my list that I really want to try and reviewing them and offering some tips and tricks because like I said, I want people to love their toppers. They're expensive. Work on it so you can love it. And if you don't love it, please message me because I've helped, I've actually helped quite a few girls just through pictures and trying to offer some suggestions. And I think that they've been helped that way. So sometimes you just need someone who has like a different perspective and they can see like, well, what if you tried this? What if you tried that? So let me know. All right, we'll see you guys. Thank you.